Fermi Paradox Space Paradox One of the most fascinating and perplexing conundrums in modern science. In this podcast, we'll explore what the Fermi Paradox is, what it means for our understanding of the universe, and the various explanations that have been proposed to solve it. So let's start with the basics. What is the Fermi Paradox? The Fermi Paradox is the apparent contradiction between the high likelihood of the existence of extraterrestrial civilizations and the fact that we have not detected any signs of their presence. The paradox is named after the physicist Enrico Fermi, who first posed the question, where is everybody? In 1950, during a lunchtime conversation with colleagues at Los Alamos National Laboratory, Fermi's argument was based on the assumption that there are many planets in the universe capable of supporting life and that some of these planets have been around for much longer than Earth. If this is true, then there should be plenty of opportunities for intelligent life to develop and for civilizations to arise that are capable of interstellar communication and travel. Yet despite our best efforts, we have not detected any signals or signs of such civilizations. This paradox has led to much speculation and debate over the years, with many different explanations proposed to account for the apparent absence of extraterrestrial life. So let's dive into some of these explanations and explore what they have to offer. The first explanation that comes to mind is that we simply haven't looked hard enough. It's possible that other civilizations exist, but they are either too far away or too technologically primitive to have developed the means of interstellar communication. Alternatively, they may be communicating in ways that we haven't yet detected or using technology that we don't understand. Another possibility is that advanced civilizations may choose not to communicate with us for a variety of reasons. They may be concerned about the potential dangers of revealing their presence to a less advanced species, or they may have different priorities and interests that make communication with us unnecessary or unimportant. A related explanation is that extraterrestrial civilizations may have already come and gone, leaving behind no trace of their existence. This could be the result of a catastrophic event that wiped out all life on a planet, or it could be the result of a civilization choosing to self-destruct through war, environmental degradation, or other factors. One of the more unsettling explanations that has been proposed is that advanced civilizations may intentionally avoid contact with other species. This can be out of a desire to preserve their own way of life and prevent contamination from other cultures, or it could be the result of a more aggressive stance, with civilizations actively seeking to conquer or dominate others. Another possibility is that we are simply looking for the wrong things or in the wrong places. Our search for extraterrestrial life has been largely based on the assumption that other civilizations will use radio waves or other forms of electromagnetic radiation to communicate. But what if they communicate in ways that we haven't yet considered or using technologies that are beyond our current understanding? Finally, there is the possibility that we are the first intelligent civilization to emerge in the universe. This would mean that the development of intelligent life is an extremely rare and difficult process, and that we are truly unique in the cosmos. So where does this leave us in our search for extraterrestrial life? Unfortunately, there are no easy answers or clear solutions to the Fermi paradox. The fact that we have not yet detected any signs of extraterrestrial life is certainly intriguing, but it is not necessarily evidence that other civilizations do not exist. The search for extraterrestrial life is a complex and challenging endeavor that requires a combination of scientific expertise, advanced technology, and a willingness to explore and consider new ideas and possibilities. It is also important to approach this search with an open mind, recognizing that the universe is vast and full of mysteries that we may not yet fully understand. One promising area of research that may help shed light on the Fermi paradox is the study of exoplanets or planets that orbit stars outside our solar system. Over the past few decades, astronomers have discovered thousands of exoplanets, and many of these planets are located in the habitable zone around their host stars, where conditions may be suitable for life to exist. By studying the atmospheres of exoplanets and searching for signs of chemical signatures that may be associated with life, scientists may be able to detect the presence of extraterrestrial life in the future. This type of research is still in its early stages, but it holds great promise for the future of the search for extraterrestrial life. Another area of research that may be important in solving the Fermi paradox is the study of artificial intelligence and machine learning. As we develop more advanced technologies that are capable of analyzing large amounts of data and identifying patterns, we may be able to detect signals or signs of extraterrestrial life that we have previously overlooked. 
In addition, as we continue to explore our own solar system and the wider universe, we may discover new forms of life that challenge our assumptions about what is possible. For example, recent discoveries of extremophiles, organisms that are able to survive in extremely harsh environments on Earth, suggest that life may be more resilient and adaptable than we previously thought. Ultimately, the search for extraterrestrial life is a long-term project that will require the collaboration and cooperation of scientists, researchers, and organizations from around the world. It is a complex and challenging endeavor, but it holds tremendous potential for expanding our understanding of the universe and our place within it. How can human use Fermi Paradox? The Fermi Paradox, despite its perplexing nature, can be a useful tool for humanity in several ways. First, the Fermi Paradox can inspire curiosity and wonder, encouraging us to explore and learn more about the universe. The search for extraterrestrial life can be a unifying pursuit, bringing together people from diverse backgrounds and cultures to work towards a common goal. Second, the Fermi Paradox can prompt us to reflect on our own place in the universe and consider our impact on the planet and its resources. As we contemplate the possibility of other intelligent civilizations in the cosmos, we may gain a greater appreciation for the fragility of our own planet and the importance of preserving it for future generations. Third, the search for extraterrestrial life may drive technological and scientific advancements that have practical applications beyond the realm of space exploration. For example, research into artificial intelligence and machine learning, as well as the development of new instruments and technologies for studying the cosmos, may have significant benefits for fields such as medicine, energy, and environmental science. Fourth, the Fermi Paradox can help us better understand our own biases and assumptions about the universe and the possibility of extraterrestrial life. By recognizing our own limitations and being open to new ideas and possibilities, we may be better equipped to navigate the complex challenges facing humanity in the coming decades and centuries. The Fermi Paradox can serve as a catalyst for curiosity, reflection, innovation, and self-awareness providing valuable insights and perspectives for humanity as we continue to explore and learn more about the universe. Fermi Paradox and why don't we see signs of alien civilizations? The Fermi Paradox is a question that has puzzled scientists and thinkers for decades. If the universe is so vast and there are billions of potentially habitable planets out there, why haven't we seen any signs of intelligent extraterrestrial life? The question is both fascinating and perplexing and has led to a number of theories and explanations over the years. In this essay, we'll explore some of the leading theories and attempt to shed light on this mystery. One of the most popular explanations for the Fermi Paradox is known as the Great Filter Theory. This theory suggests that there may be a series of obstacles or challenges that any intelligent civilization must overcome in order to progress beyond a certain point. These challenges might include things like developing sustainable energy sources, avoiding catastrophic events like asteroid impacts or global pandemics, or managing limited resources like water and food. According to this theory, if a civilization is unable to overcome one or more of these obstacles, it may be doomed to extinction before it can become technologically advanced enough to communicate with us or travel to other planets. In other words, the Great Filter represents a bottleneck in the evolutionary path of intelligent life. The Great Filter theory is intriguing because it offers a potential explanation for why we haven't seen signs of alien civilizations. If the Great Filter is ahead of us, then it's possible that we haven't yet reached the point where we can communicate with other intelligent species. On the other hand, if the Great Filter is behind us, it may be that most other civilizations have already been wiped out by some catastrophic event, and we are one of the few lucky survivors. Another theory that has been proposed to explain the Fermi Paradox is known as the Zoo Hypothesis. This theory suggests that intelligent alien civilizations are aware of our existence, but have chosen not to contact us for various reasons. Perhaps they are studying us from afar, or are simply waiting until we reach a certain level of technological advancement before making contact. The zoo hypothesis is appealing because it offers a potential solution to the Fermi paradox that doesn't involve the extinction of other civilizations. Instead, it suggests that there may be a deliberate effort on the part of more advanced species to avoid interfering with our development or disrupting our natural evolution. However, the zoo hypothesis also raises some questions. For example, why would all advanced civilizations agree to a non-interference policy 
Wouldn't there be at least some species that would be interested in making contact or interacting with us in some way? Additionally, the zoo hypothesis assumes that intelligent life forms are inherently benevolent and ethical, which may not necessarily be the case. A third theory that has been proposed to explain the Fermi paradox is known as the self-destruction hypothesis. This theory suggests that advanced civilizations may be prone to self-destruction through things like nuclear war, environmental collapse, or runaway artificial intelligence. According to this theory, even if a civilization is able to overcome the Great Filter and become technologically advanced enough to communicate with other species, it may still be doomed to extinction due to its own hubris or short-sightedness. This could explain why we haven't seen any signs of advanced civilizations. They may simply be wiping themselves out before they can reach out to other planets. The self-destruction hypothesis is concerning because it suggests that our own civilization may be at risk of collapsing in the not-too-distant future. It's possible that we are on the verge of triggering some catastrophic event that could wipe us out before we have the chance to explore the cosmos or communicate with other species. A fourth theory that has been proposed to explain the Fermi paradox is known as the technological singularity hypothesis. This theory suggests that advanced civilizations may be able to merge with technology in such a way that their consciousness becomes indistinguishable from the machines they create. In other words, they may become post-biological entities that are no longer limited by the constraints of physical bodies or the need for resources like food and water. According to this theory, once a civilization reaches the point where it can merge with technology in this way, it may no longer have any interest in exploring the physical universe or communicating with other biological beings. Instead, it may choose to exist solely in a virtual world or to explore the mysteries of the digital realm. The technological singularity hypothesis is intriguing because it suggests that there may be advanced civilizations out there that we simply can't detect or communicate with using traditional means. However, it also raises questions about the nature of consciousness and what it means to be alive. If advanced civilizations are able to merge with technology in this way, does that mean that they are no longer alive in the traditional sense? And if so, does that mean that we should even consider them to be intelligent life forms? Ultimately, the Fermi paradox remains one of the great mysteries of our time. While there are a number of intriguing theories and potential explanations, we may never truly know why we haven't seen signs of alien civilizations. It's possible that the answer lies in some combination of the theories mentioned above or in some as yet unknown factor that we haven't even considered. In the meantime, the search for extraterrestrial life continues as we explore the cosmos and discover new exoplanets and potential habitats for life we may be able to gather more data and evidence that can help us better understand the possibility of extraterrestrial life and its implications. We may also need to reevaluate our assumptions about the nature of intelligent life and the ways in which it may communicate or interact with us. Regardless of the ultimate answer to the Fermi paradox, the search for extraterrestrial life is a fascinating and important endeavor. It helps us better understand the nature of the universe and our place within it, and inspires us to explore the mysteries of the cosmos in search of new knowledge and understanding. In conclusion, the Fermi paradox remains one of the greatest mysteries of modern science, and it is unlikely that we will find a simple or easy solution to this enigma anytime soon. However, by continuing to explore and investigate the universe, and by remaining open to new ideas and possibilities, we may one day uncover the answers to this perplexing question and unlock the secrets of our cosmic neighbors. That's all in this video. If you like the information, please hit like and subscribe to this channel and be connected to this channel for more space information.